another exercise that we did two weeks ago was distinguishing between how many hours do women versus men devote to their kids. And remember, that was variable 36 in this case. Um, this interval ratio variable that asks you basically how many hours do you spend with your kids um, is recoded as an ordinal variable. That means that somebody who said, I devote 29 hours to my kids weekly would receive a free, right? So somebody who devotes 60 hours or more, more a super mom or a super dad, would receive five. Somebody says none, that that person would receive a zero. So here you see how this is recoded. So the higher the number, the the more time you spend with your kids. Okay? So let us use this ordinal variable, which is we can use as an interval ratio because it's coded correctly, in order to see if there is a statistically significant difference between how much time men and women spend with their kids. So analyze Compare means, again, independent sample t-test. Let's click on it. Let's reset what we just did before. Well, the grouping variable is now, again, gender, because we want to make the distinction between men and women. So again, we have to define the groups. This is, again, the variable that distinguishes between the two populations. OK, continue. And the test variable is the interval ratio variable, or the ordinal variable in our case. Um, the hours you are spending with taking care of your kids. So hours looking after children, exactly. OK, so let's see the output of this. What do we see here? Again, always spend some time with the group statistics table in order for you to fully comprehend the output. We have 797 female who responded to this question with an average of 1.16. Now let us go back a little bit to understand what 1.16 means. So 1.16 would be between 1 and 2. So of course more than 5 hours. It would be around 5 to 10 hours. So in between these two categories. And for men, this would be 0 0.84, so that would be 0 0.84, so that would be between nothing and less than 5 hours, so 100% less than 5 hours. Accordingly, what we can see here is that women spend twice as much, if not more, with their children. Now, the women have an average, on average, uh, more hours that is spent with their children. Let's look at the standard deviation. You can see that the standard deviation for the women is higher. Well, what does this mean? As I explained it last week, or two weeks ago in class, it means that among these 797 women, you will find women that really spend a lot of time with their kids, maybe they're stay-at-home mothers, but you will also find women which devote maybe the majority of their time to their careers and spend relatively few time with their kids. So the dispersion among the women is relatively high. Right? In contrast, men on average spend less time with their kids, but also men are more similar when it comes to this. So you will not find huge outliers. I suspect that among 703 men, there are very few stay-at-home fathers, because if there would be more stay-at-home fathers, then this standard deviation would be much higher. Also, the average would be much higher. Okay. So, it's not okay, but it is what it is. Um, now, let us look at the test. First, as I already mentioned, you have to decide if, based on the sample statistics, based on what we see here, uh, can we reject or accept a new hypothesis, which would be this column. And before that, are equal variances assumed or not assumed when it comes to the population? Uh, this is very annoying. Okay, so the first thing we do is we look at the significance. It is less than 5%, so we reject the equal variances assumptions, and equal variances are not assumed. Based on this information, we could have suspected that, right? But you always have to first reject it in order to be 100% sure. Now, your T obtained is 4.105. 
and your second significance is 0.00, .00 which is less than 5%. So you can reject the null hypothesis, which basically was saying that this difference occurred because of random chance and it cannot be generalized to the whole population. You reject that and you can say that this difference is significant. Consequently, you can generalize to the whole population and men and women do spend different uh, amounts of time with their kids and women do spend more time according to this um, output. Okay, And this is basically it.